Hey, how's it going? This is Bill Brock from Team Rogue and Monsters Underground on Destination America. Today, we've actually cracked the case of the Turner sighting. So be sure to keep it right here and find out what really happened. Something's been making a lot of noise behind my house and it's pretty creepy. I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, so what you're looking at right now is the actual original footage that was given to us by uh, the eyewitness. And when we received this footage, we were actually in the field. We weren't able to really take a good look at it, and it took us a few days to actually get it from his cell phone onto our computer so we could really take a hard look at it and analyze what was going on. We did do a recreation. And through that recreation, we found that it was approximately the same size as AJ, maybe a slight bit larger. So that was a little bit confusing for us. We knew at this point that this thing was at least six feet tall. And the kid that actually shot this video, he's only probably about 5'2". So we know that it wasn't him in a suit. And we knew that when we saw this video because uh, we knew that he just wasn't large enough. To, uh, to look the way this creature looks. So once we had that video and we got it home, took a good look at it, analyzed it, sent it off to other people, everyone seems to think the same thing, that this creature is about six feet tall. Now, again, we did our recreations, and it seems to be maybe a little larger than six feet, but still within the normal range of every human out there. And just a few minutes ago, you probably heard the two strange calls that came from the woods just before this creature is about to come out. Those calls were, I think, fabricated to sound like a Sasquatch. These calls are well within the range of humans. And right now, you're actually about to see the, uh, the subject in question move from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. Approximately right here, we're able to get AJ exactly in that spot and... Truly, this thing was larger than AJ, and, and you know, that can't be faked. But like I said, it's well within the range of every human being out there. So here I am rolling up behind Bill and the young gentleman, and we come upon this track. And this was part of a, a large trackway of a perfect Bigfoot prints. What we see that sets off the red flags is how perfect these prints are. It's got the, the flattened out heel. You can make out the toes. It's, it's got all the signatures that have been found in, in Bigfoot tracks in the past. And for us, that throws up a lot of red flags. Um, you just don't find perfect tracks. Yeah, AJ, you're right. You know, these tracks were intriguing. They were well within the range of a Sasquatch. They were about 15 inches long. But again, they were perfect. You don't typically find perfect tracks like this out in the woods. So either these tracks were made by a Sasquatch, or this person who faked this had an amazing knowledge of the foot no, and the anatomy of a Sasquatch. Video. Oh, okay. Either a person or... Oh, you have another one? I have another video from back there. Oh, no Because I've been hearing a lot. For the past two weeks, it's been nothing. But yeah, I've heard howls and stuff, and it doesn't sound like anything from... So you just heard the young man explain that he thinks that this could have been just a guy walking around out back. At no point did this young man ever say that what he filmed was a Sasquatch. He was adamant to say he didn't know what it was. He asked for our help to find out. So this is behind your house, right? Yeah, this is down on the trail. And because... I've been hearing howls and like noises that, I mean, doesn't sound like anything else. So I set my camera up and I sat down behind it and I got a video. Yeah, you want to come it's right either here? either a yeah. person or... It's something. It's something because yeah, you playing? can clearly see it. Is it playing there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, you can bring the video up to... And you'll see it in here first, and then... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, 
does. You, you get cruising. Oh, you get a good right, what? right there, right there. Now, what you just saw right there is is Bill and I seeing the first footage that has been um, so popular. And you can see me fumbling with the camera trying to get it in the shot, and um, we're just amazed. And this is actually what led to further investigation. And you can also hear the, the gentleman saying that he didn't know what it was. He was showing us the video not knowing it, what it was, and he was hoping we could tell him. All right, so uh, what we just tried to do was we uh, we tried to match up as well as possible a reenactment of me walking through the woods across the trail where the um, child took the video earlier that we'd seen. While doing that, we found a trail, and so we followed it back. And what we have here is we have to step around it, come around this way. You can see we we have strides and we have tracks. And what it looks like when you get get really close to it here is Look at her like toe prints or a heel print or an archway. Something that makes it more of a um, bipedal, barefooted, bigfoot type track. Or we want to see that it's two tracks, like like a bear. Or we want to see a hard line on the heel, like a boot print. Especially this time of year. Obviously, we're if we see tread, <laughs> then we see tread and we know it's shoes. So that's what we're doing right now. We're going to measure the length of the imprints, even though they're degraded, just for um, posterity and having a record, it's good. And we're going to measure the length of the stride, which should give us some idea of height. So what we're doing now is we're measuring from toe to heel. And it looks like from the longest point to the shortest point. That's 15 inches that way, though. If I go down to the bottom of the impression, if I go to the edge, it's about a foot. So what's the width on it? The width across the, the front, the widest point would be about seven and a half inches. And across the heel, we're looking at about three inches, but this is pretty degraded. Hold on. All right. All right, right, right now we're trying to measure the stride. And what we've got from the heel impression of the track just forward of here to the, the heel of the other track is about 43 inches. Now if we measure from the heel to the toe, following the plane of the stride, it's about 30 inches. All right, so we're gonna finish up this video and our, well, I guess conclusions on the Turner footage uh, with some drone footage because, you know, drones rule. But uh, basically, I, I want to talk about the whole thing, you know, how this transpired, how we got this footage, and, and what we think of it. Um, AJ, you started this, uh, started this investigation by a contact. Exactly what happened? Um, a friend of a friend who's also friends with the family involved had seen a post on Facebook where the father had taken what the son, <clears throat> excuse me, had... Uh, I videoed and put it out there because he didn't know exactly what it was. Right, right. He They contacted us to have someone come out and help them figure out what the heck was going on. And, you know, we did that. We came out. We first investigated the outside area of this siding, you know, basically the perimeter to look for tracks or anything else that was odd. Right, and, and we did find a, a ton of game trails and the tracks that we showed you previously. Exactly. You know, we found trackways. Uh, we're not talking single tracks, but we literally found trackways, and, you know, we documented those. We measured stride length, AJ. We measured the, the size of the foot, the width of the foot. We took every possible measurement that we yeah. could possibly think of. We were really focused on being thorough. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, you know, once we completed all this, once we started, you know, really uh, analyzing all this information, we were both almost more confused than we were when this thing started. Yeah, yeah. The um, what we expected to see for evidence was way too clear, and the things that we really needed to see were more or less obscured. Exactly. You know, we planned on going there and debunking this for these people and going home. 
you know, and having a beer and being happy. That was the initial, that's what we thought was going to happen. Right. And, and that just did not happen. Um, we basically um, could not find anything to prove this case 100% one way or the other. Do uh, you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, we didn't, we didn't have any, we didn't have a preponderance of evidence that could, that could tell us it was a, a tall male, a tall person, or if it was a Sasquatch or some sort of um, cryptid. That's right. You know, and our, our job as researchers is to research, and, and that's what we did. Uh, we basically took our time, we didn't jump to conclusions, and we waited for the right information to come to us, right? Yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. We put out information as we as we got it, so that others could review it and give us their opinions. Yeah, yeah, we are always going to be transparent. I have no problems with uh, putting out everything I know. If you guys ever have a question about what I'm doing, contact me. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'll tell you what I know, and what I know is yesterday I received a really strange phone call uh, from a friend of the boy. Who filmed this? This uh, this friend of the boy told his mom that the witness has been bragging at school about how he faked this Bigfoot footage and how he has now faked all of us out, and you know that that upset me. Uh, you know, AJ, that really upset me when I heard that. Yeah, yeah. When I got the phone call, I. It just it got me right in the pit of my stomach. I didn't I didn't expect that that kind of response. I didn't either. I still trust these people. I still believe that these people are uh, being honest with me. At least I, I feel that the father is being a hundred percent honest. I know that for a fact. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely a, a genuine man. Yeah, he is really. Uh, he's not happy about this either, you know. And we talked to him about it. We talked to him about why his son would have told other people in his school that he faked this. What we were told, AJ, was that his teachers and his peers at school were giving him such a hard time about being a witness to Sasquatch that he felt threatened. He felt um, like he was being picked on, bullied. And he was being bullied by his teachers at his school. So, from what I understand, uh, this young man uh, was essentially bullied into saying what he did was fake. You know, what he videoed was fake. And we can't, we can't be sure of e anything right now, AJ, other than the fact that this young man is now saying that he faked this footage. That's correct. But we also have to take into consideration that he has been bullied by his teachers and all the peers at his school about being a witness to Sasquatch. And that's something we see a lot. A lot of people out there will not come forward and talk about what they experienced simply because they're afraid of ridicule. That, that was exactly my next point. I, even as an adult, I, I feel a lot of times we're less likely to bring up information that's out of the norm. And, and a lot of adults, I, I don't think, bring up their sightings or, or evidence that they have because of the ridicule. And so when you throw that weight onto a, a young man, I, I just can't make head or tails of it right now. I'm, I'm confident that his father and his, his family are uh, truly genuine people. Right, right, absolutely. You know, we're going to finish up this video right now. If you have any questions about what happened, please contact us. We are Team Rogue. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us, obviously, right here on YouTube, and we are going to continue to find out for sure, 100%, what happened out there that day. But at this point, we're getting reports that this young man faked this, but he is under extreme ridicule. So please subscribe, and we're going to try to bring more information to you as we get it.